What up, what up? It's Kid Lips. We're in downtown LA. We are gonna shoot the DTG comparison video of 2017. This is it. It's happening. Get ready. We're gonna dive deep into the intricacies and the variability of direct to garment printing. So, we're gonna take nine different t shirts, a mix of materials and colors, and basically all from Bella Canvas. But there's poly cotton, we got 100% cotton, we got a tri blend. And we're gonna see how these things react to digital printing with singular artwork. The artwork isn't gonna change. We got these amazing zombies from our dude, John Grimm, AKA the artist block, another YouTuber, great dude. And we're gonna see how these things come out. So we got our shirts printed and we've laid them out in this beautiful grid to show you a little bit of the variations that we got. First of all, you can see we go from light colors to dark and we go from cotton to heather to tri-blend in each column. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the whites, the lightest colors. These don't need any pre-treat. You may be familiar with digital direct-to-garment printing and know that darker colors actually require a coat of pre-treat is what it's called to allow them to absorb white ink and usually you print white before you print the rest of the colors but on white shirts you don't have to worry about that so oftentimes digital printing will be a little bit more affordable on a white shirt which is a good tip the other thing to note is just from a material perspective cotton is far and away the most vibrant definitely the crispiest print heather and tri blend i think are pretty close the tri-blend probably has the most amount of fibers coming through the print. It's a little bit more faded. But just in general, if you want a crispy print, and this is the case pretty much across the board, cotton is usually going to win and give you the most crisp and bright and vibrant print that you're going to get with digital. That being said, uh, as we move into the blended shirts or like the mid it's not blended, but the mid-tier colors. So you have navy and this olive. You actually notice that the lighter tri-blend olive came out really bright, actually, more so than the cotton and the heather. And so in this case, these were pre-treated. Um, they came out really good on the tri-blend. Um, a lot of that is just based on color. It's a green, it's a different reaction. So good to know that certain colors are gonna print out a little bit more vibrant than others. Here on this navy cotton, you can see it's got a little bit more material coming through. It's not as sharp and as crisp. Uh, and especially on the white areas, it's definitely got some blue kind of fibers already popping through. Same can be said for this uh, heathery, kind of athletic heather. Um, and this is another one where you see on the white area specifically, it's not super vibrant, but um, a lot of the other colors came out pretty good. This, this face cream is also, you can see some of the shirt coming through. On the darkest colors, cotton wins again. Definitely cotton gives us the most vibrant print. The white came out pretty strong. Um, bright yellows, all these colors are really looking good. Uh, and the heather shirt, it's the most faded I'd say. Um, just looking at these two together, it's like night and day. Um, so when you're choosing heather colors, especially dark colors for DTG, be aware it's gonna look faded. You might want that look. People like that vintage kind of digital old school vibe or the washed look, and that's gonna happen on a heather shirt. But in general, cotton's gonna give you your most vibrant result. Uh, we don't have a black for the tri-blend, but you can see on this dark navy heather tri-blend, um, it definitely came out pretty good. I'd say similar to the olive, a little bit less vibrant than the olive but more so than these other blues. So 
Try blend prints pretty well on the speckled colors. If you want to do something heathery, I recommend going with the tri blend. If you want to do something solid color, I recommend generally going with cotton. 100% cotton is going to give you your most vibrant. And if you want to get that vintage faded speckly look, Heather's where it's at for that. There it is, the ultimate t-shirt DTG print comparison of 2017. I challenge all YouTubers to make a better one. Post in the comments if you have additional questions. These t-shirts with art from our dude John Grimm, aka the Artist Block, are gonna be given away in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. We'll post a link when that goes live. And yes, questions, comments, concerns, please post them below. Subscribe for a video every week about making your brand better and learning about how to build quality products. Thank you for being here, over and out, from downtown LA.